Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. It's MJ here, Just Plain Fun. And this is a video for all the folks that have asked about seeing Just Plain Fun's hand plane collection. So these are MJ's top 10 favorite bench planes. And top 10 lists are not meant to only have 10 items. That would be crazy. So of course we have to have an honorable mention. And being from Michigan, having this Buckeye in here, this thing probably shouldn't even be in my shop, but I'll make an exception for it. So this is a Buckeye. This is a fairly uncommon plane, as you can see, patented in 1904. It does have the corrugated sole, which is pretty legit. And this right here is the adjustment mechanism for moving the blade up and down, which is pretty doggone cool, pretty doggone unique. So honorable mention coming in at number 11 is this Buckeye number five size. Coming in at number 10, this is a number four size plane. It's an offering from the Bailey Tool Company out of Woonsocket, Rhode Island, which is just kind of fun to say. So this is an original Defiance right here, again, from the Bailey Tool Company, and not to be confused with Leonard Bailey. So this would be Selden Bailey, no relation. As you can see, patented in 1875. This is one of the few planes on the list that it still needs some work. In ninth place, we have an original Stanley Bailey number five size. This is a bit of a Franken plane. It's a number, one, excuse me, it's a type one body and it has the type one adjuster there and type one frog as well. It might be a little hard to read that. Um, it does have some, some other stuff. It's got a type two lever cap, for example, and then it's got the J logo. So not quite the early, early type one, uh, if anybody knows where I can find an iron for that, it'd be great. Um, of course, the, the tote has been repaired, but it's been extremely well done. But yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite planes here. Obviously, number nine. It does have a nice sharp iron, thanks to uh, Adam. So appreciate that. And this thing will actually cut despite being, uh, you know, over 150 years old. At number eight is the largest of the planes in the top 10. This is my Lee Nielsen number seven. This one was built uh, over 20 years ago, still performs as, as well as it did the day it was born. Of course, I bought it used. Very happy to have it. This is my dedicated joiner, and I absolutely love this plane. Coming in at number seven, we have a trio of planes, because who has a top 10 list with only 10 items on it? And the reason for these guys, the three kings, the three corrugated kings, is because these are three of the most uncommon planes that Stanley made. So this is our little number two with, you know, the corrugated sole. And of course, it's a V-Logo because I'm a V-Logo guy. And that is a relatively uncommon plane. And the prices on those have kind of shot up here recently. This is the earliest five and a quarter that Stanley made. So this is a Type 13 well, the earliest one officially that they made. There's some speculation that there might be some earlier ones, right, Michael Williams? Uh, but this is a number five and a quarter, and it is the corrugated sole. This is actually, there were fewer of these made than the number ones, but of course the number ones are much more heavily coveted. And because he is an honorary member of the Type 11 collection, he gets a V-Logo iron as well. Don't judge me. And then last and certainly not least in this trio of corrugated, we have the number 10, which unfortunately is not a V logo, but you know, you got to make do. It's a little placeholder for now, but it is a number 10 with the corrugated sole. And those are some uncommon planes right there. The number six spot goes to my much beloved number 604 and a half. This is the only bedrock that I keep in my collection. And this is, this thing is a beast. And of course it's corrugated because I'm a corrugated guy, but this thing is absolutely a beast. I love it. And it is one heck of a smoother. And wouldn't you know, it's another V logo. Number six. The number five slide has to be a number five. How could it not be a number five? This is absolutely 100% one of my favorite planes. This is one of the ones that I got early one of the early V logos that I managed to acquire. This plane sees action on just about every project. Unfortunately, right now the iron's a little overdue for sharpening, but it's an absolutely beautiful, stunning Type 11 number five with the corrugated sole and an original V logo iron. This thing is absolutely a beast and I love it. 
And would you know, we have a number four in the number four slot. This plane right here, very, very special. This is a much later Defiance. And this one actually belonged to my grandfather. So this is the only hand-me-down tool that I own. They came from a member of my own family. And as you can see, you know, it's got kind of minimal cleanup there. But the one that'll be in my collection, even if all the rest of them go away. And hopefully we'll pass this on to my kids one day. So... The old family heirloom, you can't beat it. I love an heirloom tool. We're going back more contemporary for the number three. This is my Lee Nielsen number 164. And I'm telling y'all, if you haven't had a chance to work with the, one of these yet, you, you, you got to give it a shot. I mean, the handle is a little bit taller than what we're used to, which you don't have to worry about the frog. So this is super comfortable to use. Super, super easy to adjust. And, you know, of course, the adjustable mouth. Just an absolutely fantastic all-around plane right here. And I highly recommend that you check that one out if you get a chance. In the number two position, we have another offering from the Bailey Tool Company. This is the number five size. And this one, of course, special because it has that big Bailey Tool Company lever cap on it. And once again, do not be confused. This is the Bailey Tool Company, Selden Bailey, not Leonard Bailey. Although my understanding is Leonard actually went to work for Selden for a bit over there in Woonsocket. And urban legend has it that uh, Leonard Bailey was the one that convinced Selden to put that on the front there, calling it the Bailey Tool Company, all up bold on that lever cap like that. So in the number two slot, you know, Bailey Tool Company, I would be remiss if I didn't hand out one more honorable mention. So this little number, Lee Nielsen, number four, cast in bronze, is going to be another honorable mention before we move on to the number one plane. I know I'm cheating the system again, but coming in at number one is my number four size, Bailey Victor, right here. And he's got a couple of his friends there with him. This number six is a pretty sweet plane. This one right here, number five size, don't ask. It's one that I just recently got. I haven't even made the time to clean it up yet. But let's just go with those are the number four, the, the winning number one plane here. Those are his big brothers back there. So this is the uh, number four Bailey Victor. And hands down, my number one, my favorite plane. You know, if hand planes and Stanley, the Stanley Rule and Level Company, if it was the Mafia, Leonard Bailey was the godfather. He was the one that, that came up with a lot of the ideas and had a lot of the patents originally. And this is a Bailey Victor from when Leonard Bailey was not affiliated with the Stanley Rule and Level Company. This is when he was doing his own thing. And as you can see, you know, it's got the, uh, the metal tote versus the rosewood that we see on so many. It's got the very unique adjustment mechanism for raising and lowering the blade. It's just a, you know, it's a little different setup than what we're used to with the Stanley Baileys. Uh, another cool thing, the, the Bailey Victors all use the same knobs regardless of the size of the bench plane, which is kind of cool for sourcing parts. And just, you know, just an all around sweet little plane. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this content, please share it. And depending on how well this particular video does, you know, maybe I'll do another one. I'll do a top 10 JPF specialty planes and get that one out there. Let y'all see some of those. But thanks for watching and I'll see y'all out there online.